Larissa is waiting for Alex. They are supposed to work together today, but he is a bit late. Ah, there he is. Alex was invited to a birthday party last night. Obviously, he had a great time. Alex is too tired to work. What he needs is a coffee. What do you say, Larissa? Quality coffee beans are essential for making a delicious cup of coffee. So is the correct quantity. Larissa uses an analytical balance to weigh the beans with precision. First, she tears the balance with a crystallizing dish. Six point five grams of dry beans give the ideal coffee portion. Better make it a double. Right. To grind the beans, Larissa uses a pestle. Mmm, it smells wonderfully. Larissa transfers the coffee powder into the thimble using a powder funnel. And now for our second basic ingredient. Larissa uses a measuring cylinder and a squirt bottle to measure the water with precision. Now she pours the water into a round bottom flask and leaves it in the cork ring. Time to set up the Soxlet apparatus. She needs an adapter to connect the different joints. Now Larissa will use the Soxlet apparatus to extract the caffeine from the coffee powder, quite as a regular coffee machine. She uses a jack stand, which allows the immediate interruption of the extracting process in case something goes wrong. Larissa has already started the heating mantle. The water vaporizes up to the socklet and the condenser. The condenser is connected to the cooling circuit through rubber tubes. These are fixed with special clamps. When it becomes full, an integrated siphon automatically empties the socklet and refills the flask. The extraction is completed, but the coffee is not ready yet. To remove the residue, she will use a glass frit. The glass frit is connected to a round bottom flask via a rubber bung and a suction nozzle. Finally, every drop of the solvent is sucked through the glass frit, but the coffee is too diluted. Larissa decides to concentrate it using the rotary evaporator. Only vacuum-proofed items, like the round bottom flask, can be put on a rotary evaporator. To avoid defervescence, Larissa starts the rotary function. After starting the cooling water and the vacuum pump, she sets the water bath to the appropriate temperature. The coffee to water ratio is now perfect. Well done. Larissa uses the tongs and heatproof gloves to get a saucer and a cup from the muffle furnace. She pours the coffee in the cup. 
Alex takes his coffee with milk, so Larissa has prepared the hot plate to froth up the milk foam. She uses the graduated pipette to get exactly 25 milliliters of milk and transfers it into the cup. The coffee is now practically ready. Excellent work, Larissa. It would sure be nice to make some coffee, but it's unfortunately not allowed. Well, I guess this works too. Poor Alex.